But yeah, uh, this game was sent to me by Blue Crusader, uh, and I have no fucking clue what it is other than it's like a super short spooky game. So we're gonna play it. That's that's basically it. <laughs> we're gonna do it. I mean, it's it's not too long, so we might as well give it a shot. Uh, from what I heard, it seems to be pretty spooky, but uh, it's just yeah, it's just not that long. So we'll see what happens. All right, well here we go. Let's uh, see how this works. New game. I probably should have read the thing. It was something about some guy like to play pranks, and even in death. Oh, so we're just getting straight into it. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, that motion blur. Hold on. Hold up. Motion blur is a sin. Can I not turn that off? Is that actually... Fuck. <laughs> motion blur is a sin to video games, alright? It should never exist. Hey honey, I forgot my purse in the graveyard today. Do you mind if you stop by after work and pick it up for me? Okay, thanks. Okay, bye. You forgot your purse in the graveyard. Great. Okay, so I could sprint. How long can I sprint? For as long as I want? Seems like it. I'm getting... Are you guys seeing the like... The screen tear? I'm getting a little bit of screen tear. I don't know if you guys can see that. Who the fuck actually plays a motion blur? That's what I'm saying. Who the hell? Who who even looks with motion blur? Like motion blur doesn't even make sense in a realistic standpoint. Like, have you tried looking? Like, you could do it. Like, you can make your eyes look with motion blur by just hyper focusing when you're looking around. Like. You'll and it'll make you nauseous. Your eyes purposely, when you look around, cut the motion. Like your brain cuts that out, so you don't make yourself nauseous. So literally, ha motion blur in a video game is completely unrealistic. <laughs> it doesn't make any goddamn sense because <laughs> that doesn't even happen in real life. <laughs> I hate motion blur. Anyway, I, I, I'm getting a lot of screen tearing. I don't know if you guys see that or not. I'm going to lower the settings a little bit and see if it fixes it. Because I'm seeing a lot of that. I don't know if you guys see that or not. But I, I get like, I'm getting it like three spots. I'm getting like tearing across the screen. And that usually doesn't happen. Uh, I don't see it as much now. I can kind of see it though, but ah, whatever. Screw it. Open. Uh. The extra difficulty of motion blur. <laughs> I just, I just think it makes the game look uglier. Is my problem. Like it just, it makes things less pretty. When you have like every like ah oh, yes look at this beautiful scenery let me just fucking ruin it by by turning my head and turning it all into a giant just mixed up mess like <laughs> it just it just ruins everything. Is the stream lagging? I feel like this game is not very stream compatible. Hold on a second, let's try this. Enable VSync. Turn down the medium. I don't know what it is, but like, I, when I'm looking at OBS, it looks like I'm playing at like 10 frames, but I'm playing pretty smoothly. Okay, there we go. It looks a lot smoother now on on OBS. I don't know if that was just my OBS doing that, but it did not look pretty. Hey, memory. Plant. Okay, so I guess I need to find a key. Who the fuck just lives here? Oh, I guess the church people. Read father's note. Sister Alice Clark. I think that boy they called Poppy. He ain't right. He's always playing stupid pranks on the other grave diggers. He even tries to pull pranks on grieving people while they are trying to make peace with their loved ones. It's disturbing. I can't tell if it's his way of showing sympathy or if he's just plain stupid. Carl said he might quit if he keeps if he keeps it up. We can't let that happen. 
He's our main grave digger. Uh, factor in the Frank in that Frank is all, is leaving already, and Jack calls in sick. Too much to be reliable. Also, he somehow managed to find his way down to the crypts. That is strictly off limits for him and any other staff members. You know what's down there. I shouldn't have to remind you. It is forbidden for anyone that hasn't done the ritual to go wandering there. We had a possessive presence that has been dormant only because the ritual kept the spirit at bay. It's been nine years since we had any trouble with that poltergeist. I'd like to keep it that way. Poppy must have gone by must be gone by the end of the week. Try to let him off easy. He seems like a loose cannon, so make sure Carl is there with you when you fire him. Sincerely, Father O'Malley. Huh. It's like a, it's a real life picture. Okay. Bucket. Need a key. Need a key. Need a key. The fuck is that down there? That was like a bathroom. Oh, fridge. Wow, they got nothing in this fridge. That sucks for them. A kniff. Oh, oh, I can pick. Oh, I can pick things up. Can I pick up the knife? Oh, I can't. I got a knife. All right, I'm ready. Oh! Okay. I have a kniff. I swear to God. What? What? Where the fuck? Okay, so we're de whatever we're dealing with is not human. He just went through a wall. And though it did say he is a prankster even in death. So great. I mean, it's probably a ghost pranking us. Haha. <laughs> Funny joke. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god. <laughs> that was my fault. I frizzed. Oh my god! I could grab everything. Jeez. Oh, he's from Cyberpunk. Yeah, that that could be it. Yeah, do you plan to buy a lot of things? Jesus Christ! How many doors are there? I don't like all these long hallways. Oh, hello. Alright, where you at? You gonna pop out? You got another note. Freech. Nun's note. A foot. <laughs> Two nun with hairy legs. Hey nun, hope you had a good day nunning it up. I heard some spicy stuff from Ruth's mouth the other day, and let me tell you, I think she's gonna need to hit up that confession booth by the end of the week. Hey, by the way, I noticed you're hoarding those Christ crackers to eat them as a snack in the evenings. I don't think Mr. Priest, w Priest would appreciate that. Also, can I have some? Yours forever and ever and ever and ever, Tall Poppy. What the fuck? Okay. Need a key. I plan on buying a girlfriend. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Okay, there's something over there. Can I open these cabinets? No. Oh, oh, okay, I'll just move the entire couch. I just walked into it, I moved the whole thing. Damn. There's someone in the bed? No, it's just a pillow. Church key. 
Bathroom. Locked. Okay. So I got a key. I assume this is just for the church only, since it says church key. I don't like all these long hallways, dude. I keep expecting something to come out on the other end. Ah! Oh! <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> What is this? Spooky's house of jump scares? Fuck you! <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> That's fucked up. Bro, after something like that, I would be leaving. I'd be like, ah, we'll get it later. We'll get, we'll get in the morning. Oh my god. Hello. What are these sounds? I don't like these sound effects. There's something up there though. Oh, fucking! That one didn't get me that time, but or as bad. But fuck. <laughs> to visitor from Tall Poppy, as you stand here at the podium, gathering here today, look around you. Yes, look around, especially behind you. If you're reading this, I will murder you. You will be dead by the end of the night. So we have a few options on the table for your death. Please choose the following below: hanging. Eating some of these nuns cooking. <laughs> Tickled to death. I vouch for this one. Stabbing, re stab relentlessly in the chest. Drowning. Heart attack. Acid reflux. Hemorrhoids popping. Neck snap. Listening to country music. Oh my god. <laughs> now that I think of it, it's like a choose your own adventure if I let you choose your death. Perhaps I should just do what I want. Surprises are always fun. You're a murderer. Tall poppy. I don't want to look behind me. Can I not? Fuck. This is fucked. <laughs> this is fucked. She watched the Halo Infinite trailer. No. Okay. All right. Everything's fine. At least it's got a bit of comedy to it, but at the same time, I hate this. I hate this quite a lot. I need a key. Bathroom. Tammy, the whole punch is not a toy. <laughs> Live, love, laugh. Who changed the tie the toilet? Who what? Who ch who clogged the toilet? Ah. Whoa! Oh! <laughs> You motherfucker! <laughs> so fuck you, man! <laughs> this fucking... 
<laughs> Whoa, here I go. <laughs> That's so fucked up. Who's making noises? Did you hear that? He's making fucking sounds, dude. Tall poppy sightings. His face in my underwear drawer. Ruth's... Uh, Ruth's fridge? Is that what this will say? The bathroom. The crypts. Stan's car. Back seat. I'm coming for you. You. Me. Oh my god. Food oh my god, okay. I hate this game. Where's Crusader? I need to yell at him. Two priests, good morning, Father, for I have sinned, or by the time you read this, I will have sinned. Anyway, there's a visitor here tonight, and I plan on having a little fun with. I think I will chase this visitor around, and with any luck, cause this person to have a heart attack. If they have a strong heart, of which I might rip out, I will play a little game of tag. We all know my touch kills. <laughs> but seriously, Mr. Priest, I'm going to dismember this individual. It'll be fun. Well, for me at least. Well, I'm going to head off to do some murdering now. So yes, once again, by the time you read this, you may notice a dead body in your office fridge. Don't freak out or anything. Oh, and hey, if you like, you can eat the body. Lots of good meat on this one. Don't let it go to waste. Yours forever, literally, tall poppy. Soon to be dead, me. This ghost is an asshole. Although, it is an appreciated concept of having a spooky game where the ghost literally is just trying to fuck with you in every way possible for once. Instead of just being, you know, I'm evil, I'm spooky ghost, boo boo boo, I kill you. No, this one's like literally, in every way, just being, an, just being a dick <laughs> to screw around. <laughs> Makes things a little more amusing, I guess. But priest office key. Where's the priest's office? Uh, is it the other room across? Oh, oh, I'm gonna get pushed down the stairs. I'm gonna catch you. I gotta go. You can't run or hide. I'm gonna. Oh, hello. <laughs> he was actually just flying toward me. <laughs> okay. Oh. oh. <laughs> oh, it's way too dark in here. Oh. Great, put me through a maze, huh? That's lovely. Real appreciate it. The yeah, high quality voice acting, indeed. Boo! Boo. Uh, <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> it's this fucking game, dude. I need a key.
What the hell is he? Where do I find a key? Why am I even down here? Well, there he is. But is he, like, blocking where I need to go? I have no idea where I'm supposed to be going here. Oh. Okay, there he goes that way. What's over here? Okay, I found a key. Not there. Wait, is this the starting area? No. Also, can you save? Nope. Find Rife's purse. Where the hell did she leave it? Oh, God. Crusader, this is your fault. <laughs> Thank you for subscription, but damn it, this is your game. You asked me to play. Ah! <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> Thank you, but damn it. The hell is my wife's purse? I'm basically playing the ultimate simp. I'm going through a ghost infested fucking graveyard or a haunted graveyard just to get my wife's purse. My god. <laughs> Where is it though is the question. Oh, there's an uphill here. Oh, God. This light sucks, too. Like, this is like the weakest light I've ever seen. I could barely see in front of me. In fact, I might actually. Hold on a second. Isn't there brightness? Yeah. Turn this up. So I can see, like, I'm sure you guys probably can't, it's probably even harder for you guys to see than me. There we go. Now I can actually see a little bit. Purse and gate key. There's something down here. What is this? Ugh! Oh, okay. Two visitors. You made this a graveyard? Want to know how many nightly visitors I buried here? To your left is a man named Jesse. Who names her kid Jesse anyways? I think I did the world a favor on that one. To your right is a lady named Rebecca. She really liked to scream, which made it easy to find her. Silly lady. Men on the other hand, some try to hide, others try to get the courage to take me on. Those type I enjoy killing the most. It's easy to kill you if you can't touch me, but I can touch you. After I kill you, you want to know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take your limbs and put them in a fun, hard-to-reach places for the church staff to discover. I love seeing the hairy-legged nun lose her Christ crackers after she finds a severed head in her toilet. Lol. 
hey, ghosts gotta have some fun sometimes, right? You're murderer, tall poppy. You are something special, poppy, I gotta say. So we got a key for the gate. So I assume there's a gate somewhere to get the fuck out of here from. Down there, I think. Oh, hey there. Run for it! Run to the car! I'm going! Oh. He's gone. Oh. Oh. We did it? It's over? That's it? <laughs> it's over? I knew this was gonna be really short, but goddamn. <laughs> It was even shorter than I thought it'd be. Man screaming one, man scream two, door five open, door five closed. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, thanks for playing. We did it. Wow, all right. Well, that was. Come here, I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> What the fuck? Alright, well that was it. That was, that was the game. That was a hell of a lot shorter than I actually thought. I thought it was gonna be like maybe an hour or two. It didn't even it was only like thir it wasn't even thirty minutes! Oh my god, it was that short. Wow.